Hey everyone, so today I am going to be assembling the Clearly Mad GINI Spot Free Car Rinse Plus. Uh, assembly is really quick and easy, comes with pretty much everything you need for assembly, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so now that we have everything unpacked from the box, the first steps in assembly are to install this uh, white fitting and the black fitting into the canister head unit. The white fitting will go into the port marked supply and the black fitting will go into the port marked filtered. Uh, important to note, these things that are dangling down here, these are some red caps uh, attached to the mounting bracket. Uh, leave those attached to your mounting bracket. Uh, ultimately, those will be used to cap up these fittings when your unit is not in use and it's going to keep your deionization resin from drying out. So leave those caps attached. Uh, so before we uh, insert these uh, fittings into the head unit, we're going to wrap them with about four to six wraps of the plumber's tape. And then we're also going to insert uh, these uh, white O-rings into the port first. And then we'll simply just screw these in by hand. Okay, so now that we have the uh, fittings installed into the uh, cartridge head unit, the next step will be to insert the deionization cartridges into the canisters and then screw the canisters into the head unit itself. Uh, important to note, uh, each one of these canisters kind of uses a double seal system. You can look inside and see like this gray O-ring around the uh, inside of each one of those. Uh, make sure those O-rings are seated properly. Sometimes they can come loose during shipping. But each canister also has this red O-ring around the top, so each one of them gets a double O-ring seal, nice and watertight, you never have to worry about it. Uh, this step is super simple. We're going to cut the uh, foil packaging open. There's also an inner clear sleeve needs to be cut open in order to remove the cartridge. We will drop the cartridge inside of the canister and then screw each one into the head unit by hand and then tighten them up a little bit with the uh, included canister wrench. Okay, so now that we have the Spot Free Car Rinse Plus unit assembled, I just wanted to uh, show you these red caps I was talking about earlier. Uh, these are meant to just slide right over top of the fittings. And anytime that there are no hoses attached to the unit or units not in use, make sure you get these red caps back on there and that will um, help prevent the resin inside here from drying out on you. What we'd like to look at next is this Y splitter that came with uh, your unit. The uh, way this works, this attaches to the hose spigot or uh, outside your house or inside your laundry room, wherever you're drawing water from. Uh, we also, the unit also comes with this black hose bib here with a white flat washer inside it. And you just want to hand tighten that onto your Y splitter, just like so. And like I said, this goes to the water spigot, the side without the black uh, hose bib on here. This will just run your regular garden hose. Uh, you'll use this water on this side of the splitter to fill your soap bucket, do your initial rinse and whatnot. Uh, but then when you're ready for a final rinse, uh, you'll use this side right here. Uh, that'll be attached to the orange hose connected to this baby right here. And you will use that for your final spot free rinse. Okay, so now that we have the main uh, Spot Free Car Rinse Plus unit assembled, uh, we're going to take a look at a couple different mounting options. And the first uh, option is just going to be mounting it to a wall. Uh, important to note when choosing a location to mount this unit, uh, make sure that it is not in extreme cold or extreme heat. 
and definitely make sure it is not exposed to direct sunlight. Uh, all of those conditions can greatly deteriorate the plastic, causing it to become brittle in the crack, and the direct sunlight will greatly shorten the life of your deionization resin in here. Uh, so I have found a spot in the corner of my uh, garage, nice and convenient to my driveway, convenient to the garden hose where I'll be uh, running water to the unit. Uh, I haven't located any studs in the wall, so I am just going to be using some standard uh, like plastic wall anchors with appropriate screws. And you just want to make sure you find a screw that is small enough to fit through the bottom of the keyhole, but the head of it is large enough where it doesn't come out uh, the top of the keyhole. Uh, so I'm going to mark the location of this unit, uh, drill some holes, put in the wall anchors, and get this baby hung. Okay, so it's important to note when uh, I'm putting the screws in, do not uh, run the screws all the way up to the wall anchor. You want to leave them sticking out about a quarter inch, and then you'll hang the unit directly on those and then tighten them up the rest of the way to secure the unit to the wall. That's all there is to it. Okay, so another option for mounting your Spot Free Carbons Plus is to just use like a hand truck or a dolly. Uh, this is a really flexible option that lets you uh, literally just wheel out the unit to wherever you're going to be using it and then when you're done just wheel it right back. Uh, very very simple installation on this. All you're going to need is a couple zip ties and some end snips to trim off the ends and we'll simply just be mounting it to the top part of this hand truck here. That's all there is to it. Okay, so next step is to get the Y splitter uh, installed onto the water spigot. And all we're gonna be doing is removing the existing water hose and attaching that uh, Y splitter to the spigot and then reattaching the water hose to the empty side of the Y splitter. And then I'm going to start cutting some sections of orange tubing to run from the hose bib here out to the Spot Free Carments Plus unit. Okay, now that we have the garden hose attached to the Y splitter, we need to start attaching some of this orange tubing uh, to the Quick Connect connectors that also came with your unit. Now you should have four of these and they're really easy to attach to the tubing. Uh, to do so, just take an open end of tubing and remove the orange cap from the fitting like so. Take the orange cap, slide it over the tubing, and then just push the tubing up onto that gray fitting until it stops, and like that. And then just replace the orange cap onto the quick connect. And for this one here, we're just gonna go ahead and attach it directly to the hose bib and then run it out to our uh, spot free car rinse unit. Okay, so the next step is to uh, run the other end of the tubing that we just attached here to the uh, supply port on the uh, Spot Free Car Rinse Plus unit. And rather than try to get a tape measure out and measure how long I need it, I'm simply just going to walk this section of orange tubing over to where I have the unit, uh, give it a little bit of slack, make sure I got enough room, uh, cut the end and attach it there. Okay, now that I've run the tubing out to the Spot Free Car Rinse Plus unit, I'm simply just going to make a cut in the line, attach another one of the Quick Connect connectors to it, and click it right onto the supply port on the unit. Okay, now with whatever section of tubing you have left, we're just going to attach the last two quick connect connectors on there, and then we will attach the misting nozzle onto one end of that, connect it to the filtered port, and this unit will be ready for use. Okay, so now that you have everything connected to the unit, you're ready to use it. Uh, to do so, you will just turn the water on to the regular garden hose side on that Y splitter. 
You'll do the initial rinse, fill your soap bucket, do all that stuff with uh, regular tap water. Uh, when you rinse the soap off with tap water and you're ready for that final rinse, you'll go back over to the hose splitter. You will uh, turn the water off to the garden hose, turn it on to the orange hose side. That'll get water flowing through this unit. And you'll uh, just spray everything down with your misting nozzle here. You're just gonna adjust the nozzle right here, making sure you get a really fine mist of water. Spray down the entire vehicle with the spot-free car rinse water. And then you just let it air dry for a spot-free shine.